Champions UK are very, very proud to present Mr. Lee Halfpenny! remember my first cap for for Wales and uh, yeah I think it was two 50 seater coaches from Gasino went up to to watch uh, uh, play against South Africa I was coming up against Brian Abana uh, against South Africa and uh, yeah I think he at the time he I think he raced like a, a cheetah um, it was just yeah one of the fastest guys in world rugby um, and to be honest I was shitting myself <laughs> to be honest going up uh, going up against him uh, I remember a, a text message coming through um, before the uh, before the November international saying, "Congratulations, you've uh, been selected for um, for the Welsh squad." And I thought it was my <laughs> yeah. I I generally thought it was one of my mates taking the piss. Like I just <laughs> it was just like I just couldn't believe it. And uh, yeah, would you know rang rang my family straight away and. Uh, yeah, it was uh, an immensely proud, proud moment, and even my granddad, who supported me massively, uh, he was the one who took me kicking down down the field as a kid, um, and we spent some amazing, um, amazing times down there together. It was uh, I never forget um, after my first cap, got up to the the family room and uh, I, he saw me and he came over, gave me a massive hug, and he said, "I can, uh, I can die a happy man now." He said so. <laughs> <laughs> One game that, that stands out uh, in my career is, sorry if there's any English uh, <laughs> people in the room. <laughs> I thought you might get to this one, didn't you? <laughs> but yeah, I think if I say 30 points to three, I think you know what I'm I remember just singing that anthem in the, in the stadium, the roof was closed. And the, the, the English anthem started, and I was like, shit, the English have turned up, yeah. The, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was loud, and then the Welsh anthem came on, and oh my god, it was just... Oh, you just, you just felt tears running down my head, I just couldn't hold it back, it was, it was just incredible. The, you know, the hairs in the back of your neck stood up, and we knew, like, we, from that, we were like, we're going to win this, boys. Like, it was like... Um, and yeah, you know... What was going through your mind when Wales had the stand-up to the New Zealand hacker? Uh, yeah. yeah, I remember my bottom lip was going. <laughs> oh no, and it, it seemed like the whole All Black squad were looking looking directly at me. I was, uh, um, yeah, that was a pretty, uh, yeah, it was a pretty unique occasion. I, um, I don't think that, you know, I think teams have. have have done things in the past where they've tried to maybe go up closer and intimidate the All Blacks and try and walk through the, the hacker. But um, I remember just got uh, saying in a meeting, you know, what do you think about doing something with the hacker? And um, he said, oh, but we, we just, once the hacker's finished, we just hold our ground. Uh, they're coming into our backyard. Uh, and. Uh, we won't leave until they leave, and um, you, you know they did the hacker, and they, uh, you know, after it the finish, you know, jumping up in the air, poking the, the tongues out, and, and things like that. Um, um, yeah, they you could see like them starting to move away, but then actually realizing we're not, we're not moving, we're just standing there. And uh, so for now, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for a real Welsh and British Wales legend, the one and only Mr. Lee Halfpenny! Thank you.